welcome back to live your best life with calm thank you so much for joining me today and for all my subscribers thank you so much we have hit the 100 mark and it's it's small but i appreciate each and every one of you for getting me to 100 and we want to keep growing i know you enjoy the content and i'll continue pushing out great content for you so guys today i'm gonna show you how i achieved this look it's a crochet faux lock but it's very unique it's quite easy to do it didn't take much time i have always wanted to have locks and i said it to my husband and he was like i want hair to play in here you go you got hair to play in it's just so beautiful it's so nice i love it if you want to see how i got this done keep watching all I did was twisted my hair so I went ahead and twisted it because this can take a long while you can do braids or plaits if you like whatever floats your boat whatever is easiest for you you can part however small or large that you want them to be and to achieve this I use the true edge edge control which I use to slick down the edges and the base of my hair the only problem I had with this was that it flaked. So before now, I had to use something to clear the flakes. So instead for now, I am going to use the main choice, edge gel. Let me demonstrate how to do the twist. So go ahead and get edge gel or edge control on your fingers. Place it neatly at the base of your hair and do a twisting motion like you're doing a rope twist. This is to keep down your natural hair as well as keep your hair moisturized and from frizzing out. To do this style, you need your crochet hook, edge gel, as I said before, your comb, and I use this big tooth comb, and I also use the rat tail comb as well. So I use the big comb to part my hair, and then I use the rat tail comb to refine the parts, and that is what works for me. Also, don't forget to oil your scalp. This is a very important step when you are doing a protective style. The hair I will be using for this style is the Twisted Up Expression Hair Springy Afro Twist and it's in 24 inches and I bought color number one. So come along, let's do this. And this is what one bundle looks like, not one pack, one bundle. And I'm gonna use one strand from one bundle for each braid.
So you want to insert the crochet hook in. Put the air over it just like you see in the video and then pull it through and try to make them equal. Put one set of the hair and one strand of your hair together and use the other one for wrapping tightly. You want to wrap the root three times and then continue to wrap the hair around with the other strand. When you're almost at the end, you can borrow hair from the other side. And to complete this, you knot it. And cut off the excess and then just roll it in the palm of your hands. And be sure to use your dominant hand to do the wrapping or most of the hand as it is not easy. I mean, it is that easy. Why well, I say it's not easy? It's very easy. Now let me show you again at the front, push the crochet hook through and what I started to do was to make the strand that I was using to wrap the hair much longer than the other one since I kept running out of hair. So hold your hair and one strand of the hair in your weaker hand, use your right hand haha, <laughs> or your dominant one. I don't know which one it is for you but use your dominant hand to wrap the hair around until you are almost at the end and guess what you're still gonna be running out of hair anyway
and then you put your finger through as shown between both braids at the end you wrap and tie both strands and do it once more to hold it securely in place so in all you're doing it two times Then you roll it, roll, roll it girl, roll it in the palm of your hands and then that's it, you're done, voila, you are done. And so after this, you can just jazz up the hair with hair tie cords and hair jewelry and anything else that you want to put in there to make it a statement and you are good to go. It's beautiful, right? And we can style it in so many ways. I could do half up, half down. So right now, it's just so cute. Don't you love it? I am so proud of myself in this one. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to share it with your friends. Like, comment, and subscribe. So that when I post amazing content, more tutorials just like this you can see it remember to hit the notification bell so that you will be notified of when i upload a new video all right so thanks for watching subscribers big up yourself we reached the 100 mark big up yourself all right so don't forget to live your best life it's your girl come sing Peace out.